Hey everybody, in this tutorial we're going to talk about the basics of head components in Cartoon Animator 4. So I'm going to kind of deconstruct the character head for you, uh, just kind of show you all the different components, and finally how you can customize your own head using the sprite editor in composer mode. Okay, so on the screen right now we have uh, nothing on our, on our uh, scene right now. Let's go ahead and take a look at where the heads are in the content manager. So if you go over to the content manager under actor, you'll find a number of different heads here under the head folder. All right, so G3360 heads, G2 heads from previous versions of Cartoon Animator, or Crazy Talk Animator in this case, and uh, so a lot of old stuff here, a lot of legacy content that we have in this library. Uh, what we're gonna be dealing with here is a, just your general uh, G3 head, this uh, front facing one right here. Now notice that if I try and click and drag this onto my scene, we'll have a no-no uh, kind of icon there, uh, which indicates that we cannot drag it onto the scene because it's just a head. We can't drag heads separately onto the scene. If we try and double click it, it'll say the same thing, failed to load file. You need to pick, pick an actor um, before, you're, uh, before you can apply the head to the character, okay? All right. So um, if you want to add heads to your, you know, just create a disembodied head, uh, the first thing you need to do is go down here to your characters and under G3, under free bone, you will find a base bone, okay? I'm just gonna double click that and add it to my scene. So this is just a single bone, all right? And this is something that we can attach a head to. However, we can't do this in stage mode. You can see on the bottom left here, we're in stage mode. If I try and do that, if I try and go into head here and uh, attach that same head, you can see even if I click and drag it onto the bone, it's not going to attach. And that's because all the customization, all the character customization we do in Cartoon Animator 4 needs to be done in composer mode. Okay, so I'm going to go over here and select composer mode. And once we're in composer mode, then we can find that uh, head in the content manager once again. Under uh, head right here, we have a separate head tab. And under head, G3360, or G3 rather, we're going to use this head 01F, uh, uh, front facing head. So all we need to do is click and drag that head onto the yellow bone here. You'll see it'll highlight green, and basically that's it. That means this head is now uh, attached to this bone. We can rotate it, uh, we can move it around however we want, and uh, so on and so forth. Um, however, in the content manager, uh, in the layer manager, you'll see we have this bone layer right here, this, this bone sprite, which we don't even want. We can just go ahead and select that and delete it because it's just in our way right now. And we can remove show bones if we want, so there's no bones on our screen right now. We just have the character. Okay, so your standard G3 face is going to consist, or G3 head is going to consist of a number of different uh, components here, okay? Let's go to the content manager first, or rather the scene manager first, and take a look at the face, okay? So the face you can see consists of all these different components here. Currently this face is attached to this bone right here, okay? Uh, you can see there's a left brow, right brow, left eye, right eye, nose, mouth, left ear, right ear, front hair, and there's also a back hair as well, which is right back there, okay? This character actually doesn't have a front hair. Um, if we deselect it to show it, you can see back hair will show, but front hair doesn't show. There's actually nothing on the front hair right now. Okay, so these are the basic components of your standard G3 head. If I go to the layer manager, you can see the same components here. And this is the um, the hierarchy of their layers. So the, the mouth is on front, and then the nose, and then right brow and left brow. It doesn't really matter in this case, but we also have the face and the right ear and left ear. You can kind of move those around separately, um, just like this. Okay, now please be aware, um, I'm going to go ahead and show the bones here. We're going to show the bones for the face instead. Um, we're just going to make those size a little bit smaller here, down to 20. Okay, so it's not in so invasive. Um, please be aware that when you select all these different components and they are highlighted in a blue selection box, that means you are moving the bone, okay? So the yellow things here indicate the bones for all the facial features. If I click and drag it and move it for right now, whoops, didn't want to do that right yet. Uh, if I click and drag it right now, it'll move the bone. You can see the blue box or the blue crosshair there is actually moving along uh, with my mouse, okay? Now we're not moving the sprite, we're moving the bone, and I'll tell you about the difference uh, on that in just a moment here. Okay, so if you want to create your own head from scratch, the simplest way to do it is just replace all these different facial components one by one, all these different sprites. And the one you're gonna start off with is the face, okay? So this is the face right here. If I deselect the face, you can see it's basically the background for everything, okay? Um, if I deselect, the, or I make the face invisible and the back hair invisible here, I'll just see all the facial components by themselves, okay? 
Okay, so what I'm going to do is we're going to take the face, and what you can do, you can either go over here to the uh, Sprite Editor. You can also use the S hotkey. Okay, if I click right here, I can do that. Or the way I like to do it is I like to just really quickly double click on the face, and it'll bring up the Sprite Editor just like this. Okay, so double clicking on any component will bring up the Sprite Editor for that component. Okay, and you can see we're in the front facing profile right now, the center profile. And if I select all the different items here, notice now that the selection box is green. If I try and move the, the uh, facial feature now, notice that the sprite will move. However, the bone will not move. Okay, just be aware of that. Um, we'll just kind of bring it back to like a relatively normal position there. Okay, so just, just be aware that you want to place the bones of your character's facial features relative to where they should be on the face. Okay, and that's, that's useful for rotation and movement and everything like that later, which we'll talk about in separate tutorials. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is replace the face, like I mentioned. So the face, we have a number of different options here in the Sprite Editor. We have the option to add a new Sprite. We have the option to replace the current Sprite or to delete the current Sprite. In this case, we're going to replace this current Sprite and we're going to replace it with something. We're going to replace it with an image, okay, this uh, jowl image. And this is going to be basically the image for our, our bird, okay? Uh, this is going to be like the reference image. We're going to put all the different facial components on one by one using this as sort of a background, okay? And the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that all your bones are kind of in the right position relative to where they should be on this bird's face. You'll notice that the bird is a little bit larger than our character. So let's go ahead and select this bone, for example, the, beer, uh, the bone for the left ear. Now we don't want to uh, select the uh, sprite editor. We can, we can just go ahead and delete this sprite, okay, since we don't need it. It's just this thing right over here. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the bone, the actual bone itself, and move it. Whoops, we don't want to select that. Control Z that. Select the bone here. Maybe we'll increase the bone size here now. And it'll move that bone over here. And you can see that uh, little ear comes with it. Now this character doesn't have ears. So what we can do is we can just go ahead and press delete, and it'll delete that, okay? The bone will still be there, but it'll delete the sprite. Okay, just an easy way to do that. We'll do the same thing for the right ear. Bring it over here and press delete. Okay. Um, now the other uh, components here, there's one here called front hair. All right. And this front hair, we want to make sure we bring this one up. Okay, let's just uh, zoom in here. Now for the front hair, what I need to do is double click on the front hair. And we need to actually create a sprite for this because there's no sprite currently assigned from the previous character. So I'm going to go ahead and you can see it says empty right now. We're going to replace current sprite. Okay. And we're just going to go ahead and I have all the source image files in here and replace it with this hair sprite. Okay. And you can see that hair sprite will appear just like this. Might be a little bit large for your character. So what you may want to do is with the sprite, you may want to um, size it down like this. Now be aware that I moved the sprite, but I didn't move the bone. So I need to go ahead and to close this down. And I'm going to take the uh, the bone for the front hair here, and I'm going to move it up just like this, okay, to that position right there. And then I'm going to double click on that and move the sprite back down because we want it to be right here. Because what's going to happen is if we rotate it now, it's going to rotate around that bone, okay. So very important to place the bones properly uh, on your character's face. Okay, so the next step, let's go ahead and take a look at the eyebrows. This back here, we don't really need that. That's actually this, whoops, uh, just control Z that. If we uh, get rid of the face, that's the back hair again, all right? Let's just go ahead and select the back hair and delete it. We no longer need that. And you can see we'll delete in the layer manager as well. Okay, so let's place the eyes where we think they should be. Left eye, let's just kind of place it uh, maybe over here, okay? Generally, you want to center around the uh, pupil, okay? Somewhere like that. Do the same thing for the right eye. Let's place it around here. And the brows, uh, generally you want those to kind of, you know, be in this area so we can rotate the brows. Um, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. Let's replace the eyes really quick first. Uh, actually, I'm going to replace, uh, delete the nose here. Uh, the nose is in the correct place. We don't need it anyway, so we're going to delete it. Okay. And the mouth, uh, which is this one right here, uh, we're going to select the mouth. And I'm going to replace the sprite for that. So go to the sprite editor here. And there's a number of different mouths here. Um, your general G3 characters will come with a number of different mouths for automatic lip syncing and different facial expressions. And you can replace all those as well. Uh, in this example here, I'm only going to replace the normal mouth. Okay. So for the normal, with the normal selected here, I'm going to go ahead and select replace sprite. Okay. 
and just replace it with the beak for our character. Okay, right here. And just make sure we place that in the right position, you know, relatively okay. And that should be just fine. And let's go ahead and do the same thing for the eyebrows now. So we can select brow from here, left brow, and replace the left brow. Uh, this one right here. There we go. And again, just position it correctly. Relatively okay, right there. We do the right brow, same thing. Replace and replace that. We position it correctly right about there, okay? And that's about it. Um, we've replaced all those different sprites. We need to replace the eyes as well. Now the eyes are special in that they have a number of different subcomponents, including eye white, eye mask, and pupil. Therefore, they can't easily be replaced using the sprite editor. To replace fully customized eyes, you'll need to have the pipeline version of Cartoon Animator and use the PSD pipeline functionality in order to replace all the subcomponents for proper results. Since we covered the PSD pipeline in other tutorials, for now I'm just going to add in some custom eyes that I've saved earlier. Now one thing you can do for the eyes is, is fairly simple. You can actually just you know load in your own custom eyes. So we'll close down the sprite editor right now. Let's go into our content manager here and under head we have a number of different options for the eyes here. You can see there's G3360 eyes. You can replace with those, with these. Okay, all sorts of different eyes. Now I've gone ahead and saved uh, custom eyes um, previous to this tutorial, and I'll find those under the under head tab, under the custom tab up here, and under eye, I have these jowl eyes, which I'll simply just double click and throw onto my scene. Okay, and you can see they load according to where the bones are, the left eye and the right eye bones. They'll center around those uh, right there. Okay, so let's just bring, go ahead and bring these down in size. Just about there, that should be fine. And do the same thing for the left eye, the character's left eye. Just bring it, bring it there about and we can rotate it slightly if we want. And move it over here. And I think that looks fine and dandy uh, for our purposes. I think the character looks decent, maybe a little bit larger for this eye. And these are all small details that you can work out later on. Okay, so now that we've replaced all the different sprites, we can go ahead and replace that uh, the reference image that we used for our face. Okay, so let's double click on the face again. And you can see this face. I'm going to just go ahead and replace it. Replace current sprite, and we're going to replace it with this body here, okay? And it may be, uh, there you go. Um, you want to you want to resize it slightly or something, whatever whatever you need. Um, that's basically all been replaced. Okay, so now all the feature all the facial features have been replaced. Again, uh, when the selection box is green, that means you're moving the sprite. You're not moving the uh, the bone. However, if we close down the sprite editor, the selection box will turn blue, and then you can edit the uh, the bone position as well. You can also use these little uh, things up here to you know uh, adjust size and and position. Um, in more uh, smaller increments, okay. If you're uh, really picky about all this stuff, you can, you know, put a zero on the x-axis and have it really centered there, and you can go from there. And then you don't, you don't have to show the bone if you don't want to. And there you go. Okay, so that's our character all finished up. Maybe this eyebrow can be a little bit further down. And just so you're aware, when you rotate the eyebrows, they'll rotate around that bone, okay, that you had earlier. Uh, it re really depends where you want to put it, but uh, generally you want to put them kind of it, closer to the center, okay? All right, so that's really all there is to it. We've just replaced all those facial components, all the sprites. We can now go into the uh, facial uh, 360 head creator here and preview. We can go into like maybe the uh, quick head turn setup and just preview really quickly. There's all of our facial features, okay? All set up. And there's a lot more that you can do to this character, obviously, and we'll, we'll cover that in other tutorials. But these are the basics of the head components and uh, what everything is made of. Let's close everything down here. Uh, scene manager again, you'll see all the same components right here. Brows, eyes, the nose again. There's no nose on this character. There's no left ear, right ear. But you can see the little bone right there, okay? And if you want to show the bone, you can show the bone. Okay, so that's really about all there is to it. Hopefully that's uh, pretty clear, uh, the basics on uh, head components in Cartoon Animator 4. Um, so thanks everyone for watching. Make sure you check out our forums over at forum.reillusion.com as well as our learning center on the Cartoon Animator 4 product page. And I hope to see you in the next video.